Okay, we're back. We are ready to start chapters 9 and 10. This will put us halfway through this book, okay? So we are, we've are we already completed chapters 1 through 8. We've learned about Brian. We've learned about his trip to Canada, how the pilot had a heart attack and died. Brian had to land the plane. Um, we've learned that there's a secret that Brian is remembering and he hasn't told anyone about. Uh, Brian is learning how to survive on his own because he is in the woods of Canada all by himself. So we are now going to go to chapters 9 and 10. We are reading the book Hatchet. Hatchet was written by Gary Paulson, but we are reading an adapted version of Hatchet, which just means that we have shortened the uh, chapters to about one page each and then we will also do a question and answer session so if you don't have your questions ready go ahead and pause the video and get your questions ready if you don't have these don't worry about it you don't have to print them out just get you a piece of paper and a pencil and that'll work as well hatchet by gary paulson let's jump right on in to chapter nine Chapter 9. Let's see here. Can you see? I can't. Okay. Chapter 9. When Brian used the hatchet and rock. Let me start again. I messed that up. Brian used the hatchet and a rock to make sparks. Did you know you could do that with a rock and a metal object like the hatchet? Brian's learning, isn't he? He got bark from a tree and made a nest for the sparks. So he pulled bark off the tree and then he put it all together and made like a little nest of it. And he put the rock in there and he's using the hatchet and they're pounding on it to try to get sparks. He's trying to get one of these sparks to start the fire in this nest. He hit the hatchet on the rock over and over again, making sparks. He blew on the sparks. Brian finally had fire. Hello, fire. Fire would be his guard and his friend. So now Brian has finally been able to really use this hatchet. He's taken it and pounded on rock until he got the bark in the nest to ignite into a spark to a spark and now Ryan has fire. He says it'll be his guard. What do you think he means by that? What he means is the larger animals are going to stay away from the fire because it frightens them. So he has fire burning in his shelter. The bigger animals are probably not going to come and disturb his shelter because of the fire. It's also his friend. I wonder what he means by fire is his friend. Let's go ahead and read chapter 9. Brian used the hatchet. Whoops. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and read chapter 10. Brian picked up a lot of wood for the fire. He was afraid it would go out. He heard something outside at night. It went into the lake. Brian was scared. The next day, Brian saw tracks in the sand. It was a turtle. He found turtle eggs. Brian was hungry and ate raw turtle eggs. Alright, so here looks quick synopsis of this chapter. Brian goes and he gathers up lots and lots of wood. He doesn't want his fire to go out, so he wants the wood so he can keep putting it, feeding the wood into the fire to make sure that he keeps the fire burning. He doesn't want it to go out. Fire is his safety right now. But he also had heard something outside one night. This scared him. It would me too. Would it you? I'm sure it would. Uh, a couple of you are saying no, but yeah, I'm sure most of you it would. It scared him. 
had been into the lake. He wasn't sure. But then the next day when he saw the tracks in the stand, he saw it was a turtle. He was able to fi follow the turtle and found some turtle eggs. So turtle, the eggs, that's protein. This is probably like some of the first protein he's had since he's been here because he hasn't had any. It's a big deal. So this is chapter 10. Is everybody good? Remember, you can come back and read this whenever you want. That's why it's here. But since I think we're ready, we are going to go ahead and switch over to look at our questions. Now, questions, these questions are available for download. Don't forget, just like I told you earlier, you can download them and print them. You don't have to. Just regular paper is fine. You do not have to use these. You can. You don't have to. Okay, so let's go ahead and start though. What's the title of the book? What book have we been reading? Walk Two Moons. Hatchet. Chocolate Factory. What book have we been reading? You can circle the correct answer, or if you don't have this paper, just write it down. You're right, the title of the book is Hatchet. If you look at the actual book that we have, Hatchet, this is the title of the book. Make sure you have Hatchet circled or written down. So let's go on to the next one. Who is the author of the book? Who wrote the book? Remember, author means the person who wrote it. Who wrote the book? Gary Paulson, J.K. Rollins, James Patterson. Who wrote it? You can circle or write it down. Gary Paulson, J.K. Rollins, James Patterson. You got it. Yep, you're getting good at this. You remember. Gary Paulson. If we look on our book, under our title, we have our title as Hatchet. And right under it is his name to show that he is the author. He wrote this book. Okay? Let's go ahead and look at question number three. In chapter nine, what is Brian trying to start? What's he doing? Is he trying to start a fire, a party, or nothing? Now just think of the chapter. What was he doing? What was the big deal that he was doing in that chapter? Trying to start a fire, a party, or nothing. You can circle if you have this form, or just write your answer down. Yep, a fire. That's what he was doing, the fire. Is really important to Brian right now for survival. So make sure you've circled fire or you've written fire down. And let's move on. Number four. What is he using to start a fire? Is he using a rock and tree bark? sand or a $20 bill. What is Brian using to try to get this fire started? A rock and tree bark, sand, or a $20 bill? Circle the answer on your paper or just write it down. You're right. You guys, I can't trick you. It's a rock and tree bark. Good job. He, remember he took, it said right in our chapter. Uh, where did it say it? Oh, actually, I'm in the wrong chapter. I was in chapter 10. This was chapter 9. It says that he went and got some tree bark 
and he made it into a nest and he hit the hatchet on the rock over and over again. So he used a rock and tree block. Now, let's move on to the next question. What does Brian call the fire after he gets it started? Did he call it something? What did he call it? Did he call it Michael? Did he call it Hatchet? Or did he call it Friend? What did Brian call the fire after he gets it started? Circle your answer or write it down. Good. He called it friend. You should have circled friend or wrote friend down. And if we look in the book, right at the end of the chapter, it says, Fire would be his guard and his friend. Right there. So we should have friend circled or written down. Okay, let's move on. These three questions come from chapter 10. Are we ready? Let's start with this one. Brian collected a lot of wood for the fire. He was afraid it would go out. Is this correct? Yes? No? Or are you not sure? Brian collected a lot of wood for the fire. He was afraid it would go out. We're going to circle yes, no, or not sure. If you don't have this paper, just write your answer down. He did. You're right. He did. It says so right here at the beginning of this chapter 2. Brian picked up a lot of wood for the fire. He was afraid it would go out. So that is how we know that number six is yes. Sorry. Let's look on at number seven. What animal left tracks in the sand? Now remember, something left tracks in the sand. What was it? Was it a snake, a fish, or a turtle? What animal left tracks in the sand? Was it a snake, a fish, or a turtle? Circle your answer or write it down. Yep, you're right. It was a turtle. A turtle left tracks in the sand. As soon as we answer number eight, we'll go back into the book and I'll show you what eight, seven, and eight come from, okay? But let's go ahead and get this one, too, so I don't give you the answer accidentally. I'm really bad about that. Last question. What did the turtle leave that Brian was able to eat? What did the turtle leave? There was something there, and Brian could eat it. Was it dirt, eggs, or fish? What did he leave? Dirt? eggs or fish that Brian could eat. Circle your answer or just write it down. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm seeing everybody's like, oh, this is too easy. Okay. Yeah, it's too easy. Eggs. That's right. The turtle left eggs and Brian was able to eat those eggs. Remember, I told you it's probably the first protein he had had says right here, so to answer questions, to show you where 7 and 8 are in the book, it says right here, Brian saw tracks in the sand. It was a turtle. He found turtle eggs, and Brian, Brian was hungry and ate the turtle eggs raw. Okay. That finishes up chapter 10. We are actually halfway through the book now. But before we finish, before we close, so far we've mentioned two things that Brian was able to eat while he was there. He drank water from the lake so we know where he got his water. Do you remember what those two things were? 
If you do, write it on your paper. Or draw a picture of it. You don't have to write the words. Two things that we know of. If you're still writing, you may want to pause it because I'm getting ready to give you the answer. Okay. The two things we know of are the turtle eggs and the berries. Remember he found bush berries on bushes? And that's how he ate at first. So those are the two things that we know of that he's had to eat. All right, everybody, we are finished with chapter 10, well, 9 and 10. Think about what's going to happen next in chapter 11, and we will come back and read chapter 11, well, later. Bye, guys.